All right, everybody, welcome back to another day at the log farm. Um, Monday afternoon, another wet day in the capital, so we're trying to do what we can, but unfortunately it's a little wet. And uh, going over some feedback and comments from the weekend and leads us to this video. Um, unfortunately, when you're in this business, and again, this channel is not meant to be about me ranting or complaining or anything like that, but I feel it's necessary that I clear some things up here. And unfortunately, we do get negative comments and that's to be expected and I get that. But a lot of them are keyboard warriors that make comments that, you know, I'd rather them come and talk to me. If they're at the farm, if they have a problem, there's all sorts of people around that they can talk to and will explain things, but we don't get that. So, one of the biggest things we've been hearing about lately is um, the admission charge. And right now our admission is $6, including HSD, for anybody over the age of two. So what we've done is we've tried to structure this so it's affordable as possible and yet covers our costs. Uh, I think there's a misconception that we have, um, we do, rent or lease the property from the NCC. We have to pay the property taxes as well as the rent and we run our business. And that's about the extent of it with them. We're not subsidized, we don't get funding, we are a family business that's trying to make things work. And, you know, when you look at the pure overhead of the property, uh, I would, I would put our admission at fairly low. Um, we're a family business. We're trying to make, uh, a living out of this. There's a lot of work that needs to go on at the farm and a lot of work going on at the farm requires a lot of money. And, you know, between cutting grass and, uh, working fields and paying for equipment and repairs and breakdowns and fuel and everything else it's it's very costly and you know we had a kind of an average of what we're hoping to hit for guests and that's kind of where we based our cost so i just don't i don't think it's i think a lot of people don't get and understand the overhead that comes with the property of this. So it's not like we're trying to go out and set the world on fire and make all sorts of money and whatever else. We're trying to cover our costs, support our family and keep the maintenance and programs going at the farm. One of the other things we've been hearing quite a bit about is the fact that we don't allow pets at the log farm. And um, it was a tough decision to make. We are, our family has a dog, we have other pets. And uh, it's just a safety thing really. Uh, with all the animals at the farm, you know, there's ducks and chickens out free range. All of our animals are in close quarters to where public can get. So a dog running up to the fence and barking at growling or something at a, a heifer or a horse or a donkey or anything, it can scare them. And that's the last thing we need. So we've just put a limit on it of unless it's a, a service animal, there's no animals allowed or no pets. And I know that does upset people. Um, we get that, we understand it, but uh, 
like I say, in a public business, it's hard to please everybody. And that's just what we have to put up with. And for everybody out there that's dog lovers and would love to bring their dog to the farm and walk around, I, I get that, I really do. But there's also the other part of the population that maybe doesn't like dogs, maybe doesn't want to have dogs running around. And um, maybe they've had a bad experience with dogs. So we're, we're just trying to find that balance. That's all it is. We're not trying to be mean and hateful and everything else. So we just ask that people respect our decisions. We're doing our best to let everybody know so they can plan accordingly. And, uh, you know, like I say, we're, we have our, a dog. Charlie is a great dog. He'd love to be running around the farm every day when he can. And when we're not open, he is out running around and, you know. Uh, but when we're open to the public, he stays at the house because we're mindful and respectful of other people's decisions. So that's kind of where we're coming from. And we just, uh, like I say, we're trying to make it comfortable and affordable for everybody. But uh, sometimes some clarification is needed. I'm not trying to single out people. We have a lot of great families that come often. We've got to know them. We know their kids. They know all the animals by name, and we think it's great. And we want to keep providing a great facility that's so close to the city that people can come. Um, the farmer's market is doing well. Uh, this past weekend was quite busy, and some of the vendors were sold out of stuff. And So it's good. We, we're happy. Um, but as I say, with, with everything positive, there are always negatives and just trying to adjust that. I'm not trying to be hateful or mean or anything like that. So hope you respect this folks. And again, if you have any questions, I don't care if it's good, bad, or otherwise, um, you can send us a private message through Facebook. You can comment on our webpage at um, thelogfarm.com. You can send us an email at thelogfarm at rogers.com. And we'll gladly answer it and address your concerns accordingly. And we just want to make a good experience for people. So uh, appreciate everybody listening to this. Uh, those who have been out to the farm, I appreciate it. Uh, supporting us, trying to make a go of this. So, hope everybody had a great weekend. It was a beautiful weekend. This week looks a little wet again, but not much we can do about that. So, um, take care for now, and hopefully the next video will be a lot more positive.